Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will talk about 10 key points regarding classes and object that every Dart and Flutter developer must know. So without wasting time, let's get started. Let's look at the first point. Dart class can contain fields that is the variables. So it can be a normal variable that is the instance variable or maybe a static variable. Second is the methods. So there can be an instance method or a static method. Then the constructors. There might be a single constructors or multiple constructors based on your requirements. Then the setters and the getters. Look at this example. Here I have class called student. So underscore name is actually a field that I have created and is actually the instance field that is instance variable. This is the constructor that I have defined inside the class. Show data is a method. Then this one is called a setter and this is the getter that I defined in the class. If we have some code or logic to be defined, so it must be written either inside the constructor, methods, setters or getters. We cannot write code or logic elsewhere inside the class. Let's say I just want to write a print statement that prints the message hello like this. So if I write like, if I write the code like this, you can see I will get an error because this type of code or this type of statements are not allowed inside the class. It has to be placed either inside the constructor, method, setter or getter. Now if I do the same thing inside the method called show data, then it's perfectly fine. As per the guideline of object oriented programming, if we have members in the class, that is the methods or variables in the class, to access the members of class outside the class, object is required. But if you want to access same members, that is the variables and methods inside the class, then object is not at all required. Look at this example. Here I have a class called person with two fields, that is two variables, name and age, and having one method called show data. Let's say I just want to print the value of name inside the main. So I'm trying to write print name. And you can see this line number 13, that is print name, will give me an error. The reason behind this is the variable name, age and show data, these are actually the variables or these are actually the members of this person class. So it means in order to access the name, age, even the show data, I must create an object because I'm trying to access this name inside the main and main is not at all a part of this person class. It means I'm actually outside the class and as per the guidelines of object oriented programming, if I want to access these members, these members must be accessed through an object. So first of all, I should create an object like this. Let's say person p is equals to the person and over this object that is over the reference p, I should write p dot name and now it's perfectly fine. So if I run this program, this allows me to get the output called Sam on the screen. But if you observe carefully inside this show data method, in order to access the name and age, we don't need an object because this method is actually present inside the class person. So if one member of class is trying to access the same member of that class, then they don't need an object. That's the reason it's possible to use name and age inside the show data without an object. But outside the class, if I want to access the name, age, even the show data, object is compulsory. For each and every object, there is a separate copy of instance variable created. But for the method, there will be a single copy which is shared by all objects in the program. Look at this example. Here we have a class called person having two data members that is two instance variable name and the age and the method show data. Inside the main I have created two objects let's say p1 and p2. So as name and age are the instance variable that's the reason for object p1 there will be a separate copy for the name and age variable in the memory. For object p2, again there is a separate copy for the variable name and age inside the object p2. However, for the method show data, for p1 and p2, there won't be a separate copy. Instead, the single copy which is present inside the memory is shared by all the objects that is by p1 as well as by the p2. Every object that we create in a program is unique and it has a different hash code. Hash code is basically an address in the memory of an object which is used to identify the object uniquely. T1 and T2 are the different references that are referring to the object of text class 
and if I'm trying to print the hash code regarding this T1 and T2, you will observe that for T1 and T2, I will get a different hash code. The reason here is the T1 and T2, both these references are referring to different object. And as we know, every object is unique and it will have a different hash code that identifies the object uniquely. That don't have the keyword like public, private and protected that we find in C++ and Java in order to specify the visibility of members. But even though it is possible to create a public and private members in the Dart simply by using the underscore. When we create any member without starting with underscore, that member is actually a public member and whatever member that we create by starting from underscore will act as a private member. Variable x and method 1 is actually public means it can be accessed in any of the Dart file available in the project. However, underscore y and underscore method 2 are the private, it means these variables are only accessed inside the file where the class test is present. Outside that specific Dart file, the variable underscore y and the method underscore method 2 is not accessible. Class members cannot have the same name as the name of class except the constructor. It means if name of the class is demo, I can create a constructor with the name demo, but I cannot create the variable in the class with the same name demo. You can see line number three is commented. So if I remove the comment from here, you can see that pad will give me an error that is it's not possible to create the same name members having the name as the class. There cannot be same name for field and methods. Even we cannot create the setter and getters with the same name as the name of field. It means if name of the variable is demo, then I cannot create the method having same name demo. Even it's not possible to create getter or setter with the same name demo. Object and reference are the different things. Object is actually an instance of class that will be present inside the memory and the variable that holds the address or hash code of that object is actually known as a reference. So reference is the link for us in order to interact with an object. In order to get clear understanding of object and reference difference, let's look at this example. Here in line number 7, when we have statement person that is the invocation of constructor, this actually creates an object in memory. So the address of this object will be assigned inside a reference P1. But when line number 9 is executed, P2 is not actually an object. P2 is simply a reference that will be assigned with the same value of P1. It means due to line number 9, the another reference P2 will be created. In this case, P1 and P2, both these references are referring to single object. It means in this particular program, there is only one object of person class and P1, P2 are referring to the same object. In order to have a proof of that one, I am simply printing the hash code of P1 and P2 and you can observe for both these references P1 and P2, they have the same hash code. It means practically they are referring to same object, not the different objects. That one supports the concept of function overloading. Function overloading is basically a concept that allows us to define multiple functions having the same name just by changing the parameter list of function, which is actually available in C++ and Java. Just look at this example. Inside the class test, I am trying to define two different methods, demo and the demo, just having a different parameter list. This is what I am trying to have a function overloading, but you can see that pad won't allow me to do this task. If you want me to explain technically why that don't support function overloading, let me know in the comments so that I can create separate video regarding that one. The last one is each and every class in the Dart inherits the object class, which is very much similar to the case in Java. Just look at this example. We feel that this class ABC is not a part of inheritance, but actually this ABC class is extending or it is inheriting the object class available in the Dart. That's the reason it's possible for me to write a dot hash code because this hash code is the field that we actually get from the object class. And if I run this program, this will simply print the hash code of this particular reference A. 
So writing this class ABC just like class ABC or let's say extends object will have the same meaning. That's it for this video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.